When considering systemic thinking, the aspen grove versus the oak grove is a good analogy to use to understand that we have to think collectively and collaboratively. If you think about an oak grove, the oak trees are mighty and strong. They care about those that live within their limbs. But if you think about the root system, a root system for an oak tree is independent. It is its own. So even though it lives with a group or a grove, it still reacts and acts independently. What's unique about an aspen grove is it's interdependent. It's actually one of the largest organisms in the world that actually is one organism. When you see an aspen grove, what you see looks like individual trees, but truly it all came from one seed. When you think about curriculum for a student that enters an environment as a kindergartner or a pre-kindergartner and stays in that system all the way to 12th grade, we want to ensure that that student experiences an aspen grove environment, not an oak grove. That what one section or portion of the grove does affects the other portion from the student's point of view. So we want to make sure that when we're establishing curricula mapping, we realize that we want to shift from an oak grove to an aspen grove.